What's up everyone? Welcome back to Sunday Tone. So in today's video, I want to give you a tour of this space. This is my work from home office, my YouTube studio space, my space that I play music and record guitar in. Um, so I'm actually going to be moving soon. We're selling our house and we're buying another house. So I wanted to show you the space, kind of show you the setup, um, because this is gonna be one of the last videos that I actually film in this space. So I'm gonna try and break this video up into different sections and put those in the description below. So feel free to jump around in this video for a kind of part that you might be interested in. But I really love watching videos like this to see uh, people's setups in their home office or their studio spaces. So I hope you enjoy it. Please comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the gear or the furniture or the things that I'm using. But ultimately, I think uh, this might be helpful to you to show you that you don't need a huge space to uh, um, make videos and to record and uh, do anything like that. And uh, this space has worked really well for me. And I'm excited for the new space in the new house. I think there's a little bit more space to work with. Um, so I'm excited to show you all some of that. Um, but let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and get started by going over all the camera and video and audio gear that I use to record these videos. All right, so for making videos, for most of my videos on this channel, I filmed everything on this iPhone 13 mini. You can get a lot of great video footage out of an iPhone, and I think if you're just getting started out, you can do a lot with an iPhone. And so for recording videos with my phone, I actually have a Rode video mic that plugs in via lightning right into your phone. So for recording like super quick videos uh, on your phone, this is a great mic. It also comes with like a windscreen to put on it as well. Okay, so over here on this little storage cabinet here is where I keep a lot of my video and iPhone accessories. So I actually have this DJI Osmo uh, gimbal that I use with my phone and I will uh, use this for kind of moving shots with my phone and kind of getting B-roll with my phone. So these are really handy if you're doing a lot of stuff with your phone. Um, and then I also have this clip that I use for my iPhone to use my phone on a tripod. And I think Manfrotto makes this um, super nice if you wanna put your phone on a normal tripod. And so this is the tripod that I use to film videos with. It's just a simple Benro travel tripod. It uh, folds up super small and you can pretty much uh, fit it anywhere. So. I've had bigger tripods in the past and like video tripods can get really big. Um, and this one is really nice for traveling and being able to always kind of have it with you. So recently I picked up this Sony ZV-E10 camera. It's a great small camera for video and it's budget friendly. So if you don't feel like spending a ton of money on a camera, I think it's a great camera. So that is pretty much all of the video gear that I use. Uh, sometimes when I'm recording videos, I will use an SM57 into my computer to get audio that way. But I really, you know, you work with what you have. And right now I don't have a shotgun mic or any other mics to use. As long as you place the mic in the right place, you can get pretty good audio out of something like a 57 or a 58. The only other cameras that I have are actually uh, photography focused cameras. So if you're interested in those, I do have a couple of film cameras up on my shelf as well as a Fuji X100T that I use for photography. Um, yeah, super into photography. It's just something fun that I like to do and play around with, but uh, that is what I use for that. All right, next I'm gonna show you all some of the guitars, the amps, the pedals, the cables, all of the audio and kind of guitar gear that I use on a daily and weekly basis, whether it's recording here in the studio or going to church and playing live. So over on this side of the room, I kind of have all of my guitar pedals, my guitars, and my amp. Um, so to kind of go through that really quick, first here is kind of like my guitar pedal shelf. Um, and these are just a lot of the pedals that I'm not currently using on my board, but I like to have access to them really quickly. I just recently got this TC Electronics uh, 
Combo 65 Deluxe, and this is a really cool pedal. I'm going to be doing a whole video on that one. Um, and then also recently got the Jet Eternity. And then if I come all the way down here, it's kind of hard to see. But uh, on my mini board down here, I have the new Jet Revelation. So yeah, down here I have this mini board that I'm using uh, right now. I'm just kind of playing around with a couple of different setups. I also recently got that Jackson Audio Golden Boy Mini, which is really cool. And I've also been testing out the Peterson uh, Strobo Stomp HD tuner, which is really cool. This is the amp that I use a lot at home. I don't typically use it um, on Sunday mornings, but this is a Fender Blues Junior. Um, I've had a bunch of other amps in the past, and this is just a really nice one to have around. Uh, and whenever you just kind of feel like playing through an amp, I kind of test a lot of my pedals out and uh, guitars and stuff out through this. Um, but this is the only uh, actual amp that I have right now. And so here I have my uh, main guitars that I play, and uh, it is a PRS Silver Sky SE a uh, Fender Telecaster. It's just an American standard from back in the early 2000s. Um, and then I have a Fender Classic Player Special Jazz Master. Um, so with those three, I can really cover a lot of sounds. Really love these three guitars. So this backpack here is actually a bag that I use a lot for when I'm playing drums or I'm playing guitar, playing at church. I use this bag to take a bunch of my accessories and other things with me that I need. Um, it's a really nice backpack from um, Moment. Um, and if you're not familiar with Moment, they make a whole bunch of different uh, camera related things. But uh, this backpack is just like a normal backpack and it's really nice. And so for cables and uh, different patch cables and whatnot, I really like these Creation Music Company cables. Um, and I also use uh, their patch cables as well as I use the Ernie Ball kind of flat ribbon patch cables. That's kind of my preference is either of those. Uh, I've used like kits in the past where you build your own, but uh, I kind of really prefer just buying cables to the lengths that I need or just getting a pack of like the Ernie Ball cables. All right, next I wanna show you all the furniture that I have set up here in the studio, as well as the desk setup and kind of all the peripherals and accessories that go along with the desk. And ultimately there's not a ton of things in here, but um, I've kind of purposely picked everything and I think it's set up to quickly be able to, uh, you know, grab a cable or grab a guitar, whatever it is, and then quickly put things away if I need to. All right, so let me go ahead and show you some of the furniture here in the office. Um, so I have this chair from West Elm. I believe we got it at the West Elm outlet. It's just nice to sit in, play guitar, and have someone hang out in here, that sort of thing. Um, and then I have this uh, lamp from Ikea that's really nice. So then over here, the shelves, a couple of people have asked me about these shelves. I'll link them below, but these are shelves from Ikea that I put the pedals in all my kind of small gear and stuff like up there. Um, and like I mentioned before, this is a bathroom shelf that I got from Ikea. I'm not sure if they still sell it or not, but that's where that's from. Okay, and so over here, this bookshelf here, I've got some books and some other stuff here, but uh, this is another cabinet, storage cabinet from Ikea. Um, I think IKEA is just great for like storage stuff and cheap furniture that uh, still looks pretty nice. Um, but I keep a bunch of just random gear, cables, um, accessories, all that kind of stuff in this cabinet here. And then finally I have this uh, smaller cabinet, uh, kind of little storage box here from Target I believe. Uh, that I just have a bunch of miscellaneous guitar and camera gear in right now. Um, and that's where I kind of keep some of that stuff. Okay, and now moving to this side of the room, we have the desk set up. Um, I have another shelf up here. This shelf is also from Ikea um, that I keep some books and cameras and other stuff on. Um, and then I have this really cool shelf right here that is a metal wall shelf that's from a company called Artifox. 
Um, it's really cool because it comes with these little uh, magnetic uh, uh, different posts and it has like these magnets you can hang pictures and whatnot with. So it's really cool. You can write on it as well. And while I'm over here showing you this shelf, I should also show you these uh, field notes notebooks that I have. These are really cool notebooks. I have a ton of them. Um, just really great if you want a small notebook to write down notes or write down uh, music or songs or chords, lyrics, whatever it is, or just notes for you know your to-do list or whatnot. These are really cool. I have a bunch of different ones here. Um, and I just grab those whenever I need a little notebook or whatnot. Okay, now I'm moving over to the desk setup. This is where I do my work every day. I work from home remotely. I, uh, my day job is a designer. So I work here uh, designing things and use my computer kind of for all that stuff. But I also work here when I'm making videos or when I'm recording guitar and all of that. So let me kind of walk you through some of this stuff. So when I started working remotely and working from home, I wanted a really nice uh, chair. Um, that was comfortable to sit in. So this is kind of, it's kind of an expensive chair, but this is a Herman Miller uh, chair and it looks really cool. Um, but it's actually really comfortable and isn't super huge and bulky like some chairs can be. Um, and I think it goes really nicely with the desk and everything. All right, so moving on from there, I'm using a MacBook Pro for my computer and all my recording and video editing, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I'm using this Keychron keyboard um, and I wouldn't really recommend these because the batteries in them die super fast. The battery in these keyboards are really terrible. But for my mouse, I would recommend these. This is the Logitech MX Master uh, mouse and I uh, really love this, especially for editing video, for designing in Figma or Illustrator. Um, this is a super nice mouse for that and you can customize all the buttons and things on it. And so the next thing that I have here is my monitor, which is an LG 24 inch. Uh, I think it's one of the Apple uh, ultra fine monitors that they made for Apple a long time ago. Um, it's a really nice monitor. Um, I've had it for a long time. It's not huge, but it works really well. Um, and I have it on this uh, monitor arm that I got from Amazon. So for my audio interface here, I am using the Universal Audio Volt 276. Um, and I really like this interface. It uh, works really great, um, has two inputs, and I like having the built-in compressor, um, just makes things easy. So sitting right next to my interface are my studio monitors. And these studio monitors are the Presonus Aris E5. Um, these are budget monitors, but I would definitely recommend them. Haven't had any issues with them and they sound really great for the price, especially if you're playing guitar or you're just recording some vocals, um, simple stuff like that. I think uh, they work great for that. Um, and so this uh, shelf that my monitors are sitting on is a desk shelf from Amazon. I'll try and link it below. Um, I really liked it because it has a similar design to those Grove made shelves that are really cool. Um, but I was looking for something uh, just that was a little bit uh, lower budget and didn't cost as much. And that's also, I got this desk mat from uh, Amazon as well. So I'll try and uh, link both of those below, but they've worked really well. And so everything here is sitting on a sit stand desk um, from Fully. This is the Fully Jarvis desk. Um, and I'll try and link that below as well, but super nice desk, super clean, super minimal, um, and it works really well for sitting and standing. Um, if you're looking for something that does that, uh, it works really well for that. So that is it. That is my studio space, my work from home office space um, that I've been filming these videos in. And it's kind of the end of this space for me. Um, I might film a few more videos in here, but um, I've really enjoyed this setup. I've had this setup for a while now, but I'm excited for kind of what's next and building out the next studio space or office space in our new house. Um, and I'll share that with you guys once I have it uh, figured out and kind of have a plan for what I'm doing there. Comment below and let me know if you have any questions about any of the gear or accessories or any of the things that I talked about in this video. I will try to uh, link to a bunch of the items in the description below um, if I can find all of them. But um, 
Thanks for checking out this video. Thanks for supporting the channel and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.